Oh, burning his mana every time he gets an opportunity. Lane's looking good. Save a light. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah you're, you're definitely right. They're, they're not hurting him at all. No. Bottom lane. First blood on the sand oh. strikes the perfect Can Tomato get well, the trade? He actually can't commit He's for it. He's not going to be able to do so. First blood. Moving toward mid. Limp. Oh. Actually walking right oh, at Tomato. Oh, it's close. Oh. Tornado's off the mark, though. That was very off the mark. <laughs> now FNG might pay the price. Turn back around. In onto the tide. Moon is dying. It's a tanky tide. It's a, it's a little bit of an awkward duel. They won't get the bonus damage. Will they actually get the kill? Well, they will. But FNG does still end up going down. The one for one trade. And bottom S4. Gonna do here. Looks like he's trying to make the move with the epicenter. Wasn't enough damage. He's gonna have enough here with the burst strike of the sandstorm with Lim stepping over. They certainly will. Cold snap. Dubu cannot get out of the sandstorm. Play plays continue. Let me put the third point in the nuke. Okay. That I usually don't see. Usually it's 2 2 1. Then you see 2 4 1. His glimpse range, his catch is going to be much weaker now. He potentially could have gone for Tomato there. But Same line. Like, oh. Duel. Tornado. And is able to stop the, the duel for now. And that will give Effigy the touch to get the Ravage off. Catches the two of them. We'll allow them to set it back onto Saberlight. So a trade, and well, trade they'll take, really. They'll take down the off. the urn, not finishing a Spirit Vessel. I like it. It's been the most of the invokers we saw go straight Spirit Vessel, and then into Midas, and I feel like they delayed their Midas too much. So I like that he's moving the priority up a bit. Trial. He sees him for a second, though. Oh, but it doesn't matter. S4 gets the jump. In with a bow strike on top of the Lena. Brawl's gone. That feels bad, too. He sees him revving the Epi as soon as the smoke breaks, and he's like, oh, no. There's not a lot he can do anything. He's got to be careful there and die. Saberlight. He's going to go for the duel. Does hit the backup. Oh, Son. Oh, <laughs> he can't win. He doesn't get the bonus damage. He can't win. Oh, unfortunate Saberlight. Three times now with his duels, and they just haven't quite got them in time. His team is walking over. S4 and Hanskin in the area. Hanskin maxed the new. Holy. Not really many glimpses they're going to be seeing, but... Oh, they get the jump on Saberlight. Mana's burned, Static Storm out. They will have the stomp out onto the three of them, but Pretty Saberlight good. won't be saved. Hunter Raid down onto S4, Slam as well. They'll kill the Sand King. Holding the tower for a moment as well, but... The lines continue for it. I mean, there's still a Ravage. Ravage up in a couple of seconds for FNG. Lina is running out of the base right now. No blink on the Shaker. Even so, Alliance, Ooh. they back out with smoke. Well, I think. I know that Undyne's going to be drawn towards the Roche pit. S4's ready to lead him for play. And he'll start things off on Dubu. Dubu has the counterplay coming in, though. Dubu does go down. Lovely line on the Tornado there. Catch the two of them. Vision and Ravage as well. On to Saberlight. Will allow Nico to get the second kill. But he goes down. bursting down there. Bra standing his position here. Popping the BKB. Will hit back and hit back hard. Two dead on Alliance. Hanscan also going to be run down here by Tomato and Brow. Get the glimpse off onto Brow, but Tomato and Moon will stay on target. Three dead on Alliance. Some dying are prepared to fight back. Brow in perfect position and we're absolutely seeing why they. Oh, nice press. Didn't have to use his BKB. Nico Baby with an early rage running in. Oh, they took the glimpse on a Brow, but still hard to get in, as you say, with the rage already used. Yeah, and Saberlight, I mean, he's got the shard now. So these constant press the attacks will be problematic. They're coming in. They're in on top of Hanskin. Light Strike Array comes down as well. That's going to be Hanskin going down over on the side. S4's trying to jump in. He's too deep. But there's nothing else to back him up. S4 is going to be left behind. Uh -oh. The Lion's starting to get shaken up again in these mid-game fights. It's sort of a similar, similar sort of... Door. S4, is he going to show himself? He's pinging. He wants to go on Tomato. He does not know the whole team They're is there. All though. backed up behind Tomato. They know he's there. S4 is going to go. He's getting baited. He's going in. They're baited indeed. Now he they look to turn so the fishes baited. out. They get the duel off. And they get the damage. More plus damage for Saberlight into the trees as well. I mean, Undying, they've just been setting these traps as we saw last game. And Alliance were falling for them. Game two, they're falling for them again. Yep. Great reads of the map, really. Just, there was. He's not gonna 
Oh, I guess yeah, no, no. But, but oh, for, Sabre for Sabre Light's really good too. There's extra procs, more plus magic attack. The silence is, the, I mean, that item silence. Oh, and look at him go. Me. He's in. It's Onto quick. Limp. The it's backup's easy. there. And now he's, he's even going to start charging down another, maybe get some hits and onto hand scan. Uh, he might die for this he one, press. Though, Light. He's oh. going to press DP, but Ooh. he's going down. He is. That's four power strikes there. They get the kill, but hey, he got more damage. Sure Whatever, did. causes distraction. Four heroes have to come up there for him. Limp's dead. He's, and it was he's happy with the work done there. So Alliance is just, as soon as they see any member of Undying right now, they're just so scared because they know how easy it is for Undying to just have this this backup arrive in the fight. They almost instantly just have three heroes there. Yeah, look. The Spectre and the Lino. Straight in. Onto Handscan. The Infest comes out trying to keep Handscan alive, but there's the duel. Saberlight locks him down, takes him out. 140 damage on Saberlight. Completely crushed it. Honestly, as I said, I really feel Saberlight's the definition of an offlane of this. Early game, eh, not great, but then he, he picks it up big time each and every time. He's playmaker. That's what I always like to see is Cataclysm gets committed onto Saberlight. They'll get him. Now, of course, as we were talking him up, <laughs> as usually is the case. And oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. And, oh, no. and he beat as well. Oh, wait, whoa. Oh. Oh, I should have you kept. The, I should have kept the camera off that. My bad. And now Nico, baby. No, no, no. Oh. Well, that. This. Oh, now was. Hey. No, that's not. No. Oh, this accelerated very quickly. Okay. Oh boy. And now look at the specter <laughs> on Limp. I mean, Limp will be okay, but you just need to run from illusions. Well, that. No, <laughs> he's he's thinking about the, the duck in and the duck out. Yeah. I mean, what at this point he's so big, it, it's he's not gonna, really gonna have both matter. Before is. you know it, Alliance. Here this we could go. Be, this could be one of the last draws for them. No ravage though. Boom. Boom. All right, oh that's a five-man fissure. God. He just oh. Five-man fissure, five-man aftershock, and yeah, it. it's not been a pretty ending to the game here for Alliance. <laughs> no. Yes. They waited for the Spectre to get that timing of the Agnims, waited in front to get the Orchid, and then they just found all the great pickoffs. And that read bottom was, I mean, that read bottom was really good too. After they get the Aegis, they wait, they bait the Sand King. That's four, he's got it. Up. Ravage. The Ravage, Bryal is taken out, Sableye as well. Alliance, can they do more with this? They're over to Moon, Cold snaps out, Moon. Set himself up in the air with the Yules, but Alliance are waiting for him on the way back down. Alliance, they have managed to find a, a pretty sizable turn here with the three kills they pick up. And Roche Straight is up. to Roche. They have buybacks. Undying all does have buybacks. All right, it, it ain't over yet, folks. But it is for Hanskin. As he dies inside the base again, can't do anything. And now the buybacks, as we mentioned, for one. Haunt is back up in two seconds. Okay, so Alliance got to be careful now. They're still trying to finish this Roche. Moon. Oh, oh he whipped. No, he whipped big On the time. floor. Oh, no. No slam for Moon. Out for 100. <laughs> and it was it was it your FNG's illusion just gave him a tap? I think so, yeah. I don't oh, know. It was an illusion. Oh. Can he disengage, though? Tomato's here. He's got the backup, bro. Heading into Nico Baby. Nico Baby trying to stand up against Bra, but Bra's out to the side. Now Nico Baby's got to be running. He's trying to get out of there. The Aegis will be taken out of him. Dying to go for another round. S4's in with the burst strike over towards Tomato, oh but Prior goodness. just punches into S4. S4 goes down. Dying around. On to Nico, baby jump forward for Sable Light. They've got the duel. Cool. Not quite providing the help here. Prior and Tomato, they don't want to go in there. Ooh. Careful about the cat. Give him the duel. 30 damage. Uh, jump over to the side. Burst strike comes in, but already Tomato's jumped back out. And Tomato, he's out there. So doesn't want to part this fight. Did he give him the duel? -boo? I didn't see where it went. Uh, gem on Moon. It is on Moon, okay. So he did pass it over. It does mean that inside the fights he's gonna have to just carry a dust. Oh, right look at this jump though! Jump. They're coming ravage. into the high ground, they get a three man ravage. They'll look towards Tomato first, but now Tomato comes out with the jump straight over towards FNG. FNG goes down, also S4 dying underneath the tier three. Oh, that was very deep as they don't have buyback. And they're trying to run Nico Baby's going for the TP out. And he's fine. Okay. So just don't Thinking about it. He, he wants to jump. They set up onto Nico Baby here, but really needs to take the risk. They'll jump in with the illusions. Trying to bait the BKB. And he's in. You see somebody else. He catches hand scam. 
Hand scan out and down, no buyback. Jump oh, Nico Baby! G does get the ravage on the two of them. Now Nico Baby looks to turn. Will bring down Saberlight. It's very low. Infest into the creep. Brawl stepping over. Eon just to be popped. Brian wants him. See if we can find Nico Baby. Nico Baby with the jukes it. Oh. And around as a creep. Now he'll come back out. Rage in a second, but he's not going to get the chance to get it off. Nico Baby falls. FNG2. A buyback from the Lifestealer, but it's just down to the two of them. 10 seconds and S4 will be back in. But the Mega Kree's pushing in against them. They know his BKB is down. They can just. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It's gotta be something scary just to show your face for a second. What have they got? They'll have FNG up in five. No S4, the tier fours crumbling. It's Alliance, they're gonna try and hold. There's the jump though. The duel's in onto Limp. Jump forward as well from Tomato. Limp's out of the game. Nico Baby as well, Shred. dying through the BKB. As that'll be it. GG is called Undying, taking both games here against Alliance. And uh, w without a doubt, especially this game too, just looking like the better team today. Absolutely. Undying's performance here. Especially when they play this sort of Tomato Spectre draft, it, it, it looks pretty unstoppable. I mean, it, it, it was that feeling sort of what from 20 minutes on was that was oh, Tomato's what, 5 1 and 3. He's not died. He's not.